You're about to learn a crazy card trick, but I won't be the one teaching you. It's actually going to be the one and only TV celebrity, YouTube sensation, and all around amazing human being, Alex Boyer. He was actually kind enough to teach it on my channel. I got to enjoy my break, hang out at Spidey's place with Ekarina and Alex, and we managed to get a video down. Get ready, grab yourself your cards, and you're about to learn something nuts. Yeah, boy, what is up, guys? Alex Boyer here, and today I'm on the Bao channel. What's up, Bao? Say hello to your subscribers. What's, What's up? up? Uh, today you're going to learn something that I kept dear to my heart. Um, it's something that I fool lots of magician with that. And it, yo, wh what's my leg, dude? What the hell? It's simple. It's a little bit hard, but it's quite something amazing. So uh, let's do it. Bao, I need your help, actually. This is a four of a kind trick. It uses uh, the four queens because I love queens. Hmm? That was not awkward at all, hmm? right? Okay, cool. I'll put you on like this, bud. Let's do it. Uh, just right here, perfect. So obviously we need the four queens. Queen of clubs, we have the queen of diamonds, the queen of spades, and my favorite, of course, the queen of hearts. So basically what's going to happen is... That's a, uh, what's that? That's an ace of spades. Oh, right. Yeah. right. Um, Jesus. Uh, okay, let's try something with the ace of spades instead. Watch this. Here we go, bam. Let's do something with the four aces instead. Oh, gee. How do you say that? She, she. Thank you, thank you. Thank, no, no. Okay, cool, cool. Eh, eh. Here we go. Double faces? No. Point? No, it's on gimmick. Point? Yeah. Double, it's double face. It's, you have six cards? Yeah. No, you don't. I, I do. How do you ditch? I don't ditch. I just keep it like this. Get rid of this cup. I don't believe you. Yeah. Want to say it again? Yeah. Okay, after. Um, so, <laughs> I just want to do something to fool you. <laughs> of course, Spidey is full. All right, so uh, this trick is really quick. It's the perfect opener for any kind of four of a kind trick. It destroys Magician also because they don't know what's coming. And uh, as this guy, okay, see? Now you sat there saying you're using double facers? No, you're just saying that because I show you how. Anyway, all this to say, it's Spidey, come on, easy to fool. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all this to say, for real, uh, the only thing you need is double facers. I'm gonna sh stick to the end of the video because I'm gonna show you how to do it without gimmicks. Um, basically, double facers is this. If you're not familiar with this, it's basically this. So you have double facers, right? So it's kind of a regular card, but you have two faces on it. If you don't know where to find these, you can actually make it yourself. There's uh, a couple of tutorials on YouTube, I think you can just learn how to split card, put two cards together, and boom, you have a double facers. Or you can just take two random cards, put some double stick tape, Good. I think I just caught a mosquito. Great. By the way, I'm wearing shorts in this video. First time you guys probably see me wearing shorts. How's my hair, by the way? Is that okay? Bao, let me know. Okay? Uh, okay, cool, great. Um, so here's how it's done, right? The whole principle of this trick is that you're playing with your uh, spectator's expectation, by the way. So here's the setup for the uh, gimmick version of it, right? So grab yourself the regular Ace of Spades and the regular uh, Queen of Hearts and your double faces basically, right? So this is gonna go like this. You're going to take the queens that are gimmicked and just place it randomly inside of the deck like this. I usually place it black, red, black, just to make it a little bit more beautiful. Now I'm gonna take uh, the ace of spades, I'm gonna place it in, uh, in front of the queen of hearts and I'm gonna place it almost at the end of the pack, just like that, all right? Just right here. And now here's what's up. By the way, quick tip for you, remove the other queens. All right, from the deck because you're probably gonna see like more than four queens. It's gonna be really awkward for a spectator to see that, right? So remove the queens. Also, you can maybe make the queens appear later on, maybe inside of the box or in your pocket or something like that, but make sure you remove the regular queens. So now you know how the setup works, you know how to place the card inside of the deck to make it look super natural, and now it's all about acting, all right? The right way to perform this effect is that you need to be, um, you need to act like you're not really knowing what you're doing. It's just like, oh, I'm gonna try this, hopefully it's gonna work, but it's, uh, for this trick I need like, maybe, I don't know, the four queens, right? So you're like unsure what's going to happen. So if you're unsure, people would be unsure, it's a bit confusing, but that's why the punch is so amazing. Uh, punch will free. So, uh, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> For all the Quebecois out there. Okay, cool. So here's the handling of it. You ask your spectator if you can borrow their hand. So go ahead. In this case, I'm gonna use this uh, cute Asian girl hand that I'm gonna, okay, cool. You're gonna cut so many things, God damn it. So basically, here's how it works, right? You're basically looking for the queens, but obviously this is gonna be your double facer. So you're gonna be like, all right, we have the queen of spades, um, the queen of diamonds, the queen of clubs, and my favorite one, and you put a little bit of um, 
stress on your favorite one, right? Because they're gonna look close on this one and obviously it's right beside the Ace of Spades and you say, oh, the Queen of Hearts, my favorite one. You place the Ace there and now you act like... This is not my card. Exactly, your spectator will automatically, automatically say, automatically, can I get some English subtitle about? Automatically play. Uh, this is not my card, right? So now you take everything all right, and you act a bit surprised, like what the hell is going on? You take the ace, and now you say, watch the ace closely, we're gonna do an ace trick instead. Throw it in the air, catch it. At the same time, you turn everything around like this, and make sure you fan it a little bit more like that, so they can see it when you grab it afterwards. And now, boom, you have four aces. Here's a little uh, bonus move you can add into that, all right? So you can't obviously show the back of these aces, right? Because they're queens. So what you do is that you put the ace of spades at the bottom like this, and now you can do this move to show that you all, uh, you have basically only four cards and they're regular Wait, cards, the right? Double faces are gone. Exactly, the both faces are gone. Um, so here we go. What, what's the name of this again? It's the frustration count. count. Frustration count? Frustration count. Frustration count for all the magician Flush. out there. Frustration count. So basically, here's what's up, right? Um, again, you can show the back of these aces. So you take this one, place it at the bottom of it, and you do the frustration count and it goes like this all right you basically hold it with your thumb and your middle finger just like that you show the back you take the thumb of uh your left hand you take the first card go like this you're basically showing the same back all the time but when you do it super naturally and super smooth it looks like you're just showing the four aces and it looks amazing there's nothing to see here right boom so can you show the back right now absolutely right absolutely here we go all right so again, you have the aces here, all right? You have uh, the, the queens in the spectator's hand. You take the ace, just like that. And now you act a little bit surprised. You take the ace of spades, throw it in the air, flip everything, and you got yourself a beautiful four-of-a-kind production that fools a lot of people. Hmm? Here we go. What do you think, Fighty? It's exactly what I said it was. Not at all. <laughs> Double facers? No. Point? No, it's on gimmick. So here's a bonus for you guys, no gimmick version. Um, it's pretty rare you can find some double facers. So grab yourself a deck of cards and basically ready. There's a little setup to do. It's basically the same, but here's what's up. You have to spectator to put your hand like this and you're gonna try to do the uh, four queen trick. So you need the four queen, queen of spades, uh, queen of clubs, um, uh, 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 where is it? Queen of diamonds and my favorite one. There you go, so you made it here. Uh, Queen of Hearts, my favorite. So here, watch. What is going to happen now? The Ace of Spades. Oh, right. Um, okay, let's try with the Ace of Spades instead. I'm just going to throw it in the air like this. Let's do a four Ace trick instead, Whoa. all right? There we go. I all actually right? like that version better. It's a really nice version. Thank you. I think this deserves a like, right? Right? Just, you know, I mean, come on. Yeah, okay. All right, guys, so basically here's the setup for the ungimmick version, all right? Grab yourself your four queens, four aces. You're going to put the ace of hearts, clubs, and diamonds on top, just like that, all right? You're going to take the queen of hearts and the ace of spades, and you're going to place it in the uh, first third of the deck, just like that. And the other queens, just leave it pretty much randomly inside of the deck, just like that. So the setup is you have queens everywhere in the deck, and right here you have the Queen of Hearts and the Ace of Spades um, besides each other and the other aces on top. And now you're ready to go. So Mr. Spectator, place your hand like this. Great, this is the four queen trick. So obviously again, you retrieve the four queens, Queen of Diamonds, Queen of Clubs, Queen of Spades, and you see my favorite one is, the, oh yeah, the Queen of Hearts. I'm just gonna place it right here. And again, the Spectator will say, that's not the right card. Um, so when the spectators say, um, hey, this is not a, a queen, you're basically just getting a break under the, um, the aces on top of the deck, right? So basically, no need to stress out. You can literally just count cards, take a break like this. Nobody is going to see it because the uh, attention is right there. The focus is on the queens and the ace of spades right here. Can you or, me the break? Yeah, or you can just push a couple of cards and you can actually see how many cards you have here. I have four, I just need three. So I'm just gonna put my pinky right here and I'm ready to go. Just like that. No stress needed, do it super casually and you're, be, you're gonna be ready to go. Now they say this, you take everything just like that and you're basically gonna do, it's weird, but a six card double lift with a twist. I don't have a name for it, but that's pretty much the name I have for it. The six card turnover double lift with a twist. 
Let me know in the comments if that's good. I don't know. Here we go. So you place the queens on top of the aces. You have the ace here. When you throw the ace of spades in the air and catch it, this is the move you're going to do. You're going to place your ring finger under every card. So you have six cards here. Your middle finger is going to be on top of everything. And you're basically just going to turn everything just like that and catch everything. You don't need to do it super fast at first. The focus is going to be on the ace of spades. So take your time uh, when you practice that, all right? So here we go again, all right? So you have a break under six guard. Take the ace of spades, throw it, and that's it. The switch is done. Another little tip I can give you for that is that make sure when you do the twist, you don't do the twist at the same height or in the same frame as you throw the ace because they're gonna see cards turn like this. So what I do usually is that I take the ace, throw it, lower this hand, do the move, and now it's done, all right? And now what's cool with that is that they can examine everything and you're ready to perform your favorite four of country, right? Hope you like that. How crazy was that? If you haven't done so yet, be sure to drop a like and don't forget to subscribe to Alex Boyer's channel. I actually taught one of my old cardistry moves I made 10 years ago on his channel, so be sure to check that out. Also, at the time of recording, uh, I am right now at 98.7 thousand subscribers. That is nuts. I don't know if we'll be at 100K by the time of recording yet, but if we are, woohoo! Honestly, it's been such a journey and I thank you for being part of this journey with me. And uh, I am so glad to be here with you with uh, this amazing community. So thank you for sticking around and uh, I will see you in the next video. I will let you know what we're gonna do for the 100K celebration because I feel that it's so close. This plaque is mine, baby! Woo! All right, thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you on the next video and uh, that's it. Peace. I got it. Peace. Oh, peace. All right, bye.